On a dark night, a cold night it was, the death and the devil were starting to dance. All along the graveyard, spirits arise, for the Lord and his shadow were there at last. Corpses move their feet at the, at the compass of a wicked song made up with three violins and a ribcage as a xylophone. But all of a sudden, everyone stopped, for they saw an image that froze them at the most. A beautiful girl with soft, pale skin, walking towards a tombstone with sad and heavy grief. Oh mother, she whispered, how can I be so lonely? I crave for a man so he can tightly hold me. I don't need him to be tall nor strong, but wise and fair and with a big brain alone. The devil, astonished by her beauty, made the first move, leaving that behind before he could take a chance. Good evening, darling. Lucifer, I am. I may not be good, but I will give you everything you ask. You will some fame and infinite happiness, and all that I ask for is your pure heart. You will sound great, and fame sounds even better, she said, but how about a little test to prove yourself a smart contender? She took out a piece of paper and handed it to him, a mathematical problem which read like this. If a ghost's movement is determined by the following equation, f of x, 3x squared, minus 9x, plus 3, what will be its velocity and acceleration if time is equal to 12 seconds? The Lord of the Shadows looked at this confused, knowing already it was beyond his skills. The dead stepped forward and took a piece of paper from his master's hand. He read it calmly, and not so fast. Good evening. I am dead. And I'm going to show you how to solve this problem. First of all, I'm going to read it. If a ghost movement is determined by the following function, f of x equals 3x squared minus 9x plus 3, what will be its velocity and acceleration if time equals 12? This is one of the daily life problems we can we can solve using derivatives. Okay, so to get the velocity and acceleration, we have to derivate the function and then get the second derivative. The first derivative will be velocity, and the second derivative will be acceleration. Acceleration is the derivative of velocity. So we already know how to derivate. But for those who don't know how to get a derivative, we're going to show you the basic rule, okay? So we have our expression, expression here, right? So the rule is take the exponent, multiply our expression by the exponent, and then subtract 1 to the exponent we have, okay? So we're going to get our first derivative to get velocity. So, when we derivate this expression, 3x three, three to the square, we transport these two and multiply it by 3, that was the expression we had here, the, the coefficient, and then we subtract 1 to the exponent. Then we do the same in this expression. The, the exponent is equals 1, so it's 9 times 1, and then we just subtract 1 to the exponent, leaving only 9, because the exponent will be elevated to 0, and that will mean it's 1. And if the expression doesn't have any, uh, uh, 
a variable, then the derivative will be zero. So the derivative we obtain from this function will be this expression, six times t minus nine. Then we have to get the second derivative, acceleration. Okay? So the second derivative will be a derivative of this function. And that, that is going to be pretty easy. According to the law of, of derivatives, the rule of derivatives, we just have to take the exponent, multiply it by the coefficient we had and the, and the variable, and then subtract 1 to the exponent. That will leave 6 because the exponent, the, the, the variable will become 1 because it is elevated to 0. And 6 will become 0. So, we have now our expressions here, but then we, we have one step left, which is substitution, okay? So, to get the exact velocity and acceleration when time is e equals 12, we just have to substitute the variable. So, for the first derivative, 6 times 12 minus 9. 6 times 12 is 72, minus 9 is 63 meters per second. This is the velocity when time equals 12. And then we just substitute in the secondary derivative. And this will... We don't have any variables to, sub, variables to substitute. So it will stay like 6. 6 just over uh, squared seconds. And that will be the acceleration and the velocity when time equals 12. The girl inspected the result, and she couldn't believe it. She even double-checked, but there was no mistake. They have proved to be the smartest among the graveyard specters, and the girl fell in love with him with merely a second. And so they danced, the girl and the dead lord, till the times ended, and life was forgotten. <laughs>